a warm welcome to you anuradha thank and you so I, much binda yes and i know i i found it very interesting when i got to know that you have been into the cooking business for the last 2 to 2 and a half years uh, seriously now and yes. with the help and support of your um, parents your mom yes. and dad are yes. so that was very very um, you know exciting when i got to know and thanks to shubhangi tirodkar who is your also one of our learners and ambassadors i should call is the one who uh, referred me to you so a warm welcome once again and uh, nurada has been she has her uh, journey up to now she's been a homemaker first then she got into some business and then she decided to do her cooking business and we'll get to know from her uh, how she got inspired so anuradha if you can uh, tell us what inspired you to develop what you're doing today this Actually, idea uh, of cooking as you said already that i was a homemaker first then i started my home decor business like 7 years ago then the past two two and a half years the pandemic started so the because of the shutdown my business got stopped so i don't know what to do so just for, for one year though i was not doing anything because it was total lockdown so we couldn't do anything then just like that i was thinking what because i'm more passionate about cooking in this lockdown i learned many things of cooking for my kids and my for my family so i was just thinking uh, i've heard many people like for this pandemic been locked down even for the covid cases they were not able to come out they couldn't cook because they are sick so i was when i'm staying in my apartment i used to send food for my friends when they're not able to cook for themselves so i thought why don't i start that's how i was thinking and myself and my mom we both thought about it and let us start with that way and that's how i started just one and a half to two years back mm-hmm. so, so your mom, li- mom lives with you yes 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 my mom and dad lives with me they used to stay in chennai first uh, due to their old age i don't want to leave them alone so i brought them back here in mumbai to stay with me so from past four five years they are staying with me only how old is your mother my mother is 71 and my father is 84 He'll oh, turn 84 this 17th of April. Oh, wonderful! God bless him and it is uh, 17th of April, or yes. he will turn. Okay, we wish him good luck. Thank you. And uh, so uh, you said you you were passionate and you loved cooking, and that's how you thought of doing this. Yes, yes. And uh, how did you get started? What were the dishes you thought of doing when you were uh, cooking? Because you catered to a small You said your yeah. friends and people around your lo- locality. So, what were the thoughts about what kind of dishes I should be giving? How did all that come to your mind? Actually, I'm a South Indian, so my main uh, target was South Indian because people love South Indian food. <laughs> so, when I said I'm starting, so they were very much interested me to concentrate only on South Indian food. Then. just to give about because uh, roj hum log to roti we are having roti and parathas to every day so we would love to have the south indian menu so that's why i keep my menu mostly on south indian cuisine and i cover up all the states of south india all the five states so that's how people love to have south indian food that's why my cuisine totally and the menu also is mostly south indian So anuradha if i may ask you because you started this, it, it was not on your cards first you said you went yes. into the home decor business but because yes. of lockdown that was shut or you had to close yes. that down or i don't know exactly what you did about it but you started thinking about what next and then this thought dawned on you mm-hmm. so uh, you counted on your mother or your mother and you when I mean, you decided discussed about doing this thing or uh, how did you because taking orders one or two days is okay but if you're going to do it consistently it is something uh, like you need a support system a good support system to continue and remain consistent so how did you manage that or how are you managing that 
Uh, actually, it's like this. It goes like this because uh, I was born and brought up in a family where we have a huge family. Like my father's eldest in his family, and my mom is the same. So whenever we are get together, we are like fifteen to twenty people at a time in the weekend. We all cousins. So we all together we used to cook food. So it used to be never uh, scary to cook for a twenty people or a more than twenty people. We are all cousins together. We are more than twenty. So. making every day for 20 plates or 30 plates a day it was not scary for me just me and mom were thinking that we will just start by step by step um that's how we thought and we both together my mom is was a business woman first only so is that's it? how yes that's how her uh, interest gave me uh, just support gave me that let me start in that way that's how i started that So it's interesting to know that the younger generation took some tips from the older generation about running the business. Today, it's the other way around. We say that our children and our younger generation know a lot more, and the older ones learn the new tricks and the trade. But you are saying it was the other way. So what kind of business was your mother in? She was in tailoring boutique business in Chennai for more than twenty to twenty-five years. So I was grown. Um, being with her in the boutiques when i was studying and i used to love the way she used to handle all the things by seeing her it inspired me i am actually a graduate of fashion designer when I, long back so then after marriage i couldn't continue because of the family the children in laws everything so i didn't get into that at all but my mom was an inspiration for me for a long time the way she managed us growing up we are three children for her so that inspired me so that's how i got it from her she still with stands with me every day in the morning gets up before me and makes everything ready i also will be there but she's more passionate than me in sending the food on time everything making it ready everything till now still so that how so that's how you got the name mom's kitchen yeah mom's kitchen the name was like uh, ma ki haath ka khana they say na wo ghar ka khana means yes, ma ki haath ka khana yes mom's mm, made food is something special so i took that ma and mom word and then made it as mom's kitchen that's interesting that's interesting and i'm making it from home so definitely ghar ka khana jaise it will be there like home cooked food the people get the taste of home cooked food with all the love and affection that your yes. you and your mother together are making yes, yes. so anuradha you uh, started this mainly during pandemic and uh, the covid time and you have continued now we have got a good amount of because i hear uh, in the locality that you are supplying i hear and you are pretty popular there mom's kitchen is pretty popular so Until you had started this, or thought of starting this uh, food business, or supplying the breakfast or lunch or whatever, you had a different uh, lifestyle, right? Yes. So, how did you uh, uh, prioritize the change that came in your lifestyle when you started this? kitchen business the cooking so business. it was not at all hard because as i said uh, i cook every day at home so and i used to send to my friends they always ask anuradha what were, what did you cook today can you send me so i i used to be very happy to send them to make something new dishes if my friends or neighborhood who are very close to me ask anuradha what did you do today so i love to make food for them and i used to send them so that wasn't any um, hard or thinking about how i am going to do about this at all but some things were like how well managed time management was something i have to look on the first priority for me when i am starting this otherwise cooking uh, food and making the dishes was not much uh, this thing at all for me for me or for my mom we just planned accordingly south indian dishes according to the state wise we planned and uh, still now every day we plan accordingly and we go accordingly the plan were much be done before i do it in not earlier so that's a nice thing you're uh, saying about planning because on our platform we have a lot of learners and as i said that you know we get set up have launched this 
a startup uh, project uh, and people are wanting to start some business of their own and food to food and food related industry is area is one thing that a lot of learners are interested in and you talked about planning and your friends used to ask what is it that you play and you wanted to share so now that you are into the business already and you are planning your weekly menu how do you think about it like monday to saturday or whatever is your weekday yes yes i plan accordingly for the full week yeah i plan totally for the week accordingly people do ask uh, can you send me this can you make this dish but i already made three days back i cannot repeat the same thing people will looking for the different ones so my menu is for 15 days continuous long will be a different menu then after 15 days it repeats uh, so that's you announced the you announced that menu of yours in that whatever to your clients or how do you do it no it's not according to the clients only the lunch and the dinner has been ordered for them it will be by according to the customers but the breakfast what i uh, make every day it will be according to me i in my group i always post one day earlier about the tomorrow morning breakfast this is going to be for example tomorrow i'm making idli vada and sambar chutney yeah. so that is the menu i post today around between 12 to 3 in the afternoon i'll be posting that tomorrow's this is the menu so and so menu and what has been uh, from which state the menu is i specify the state also and uh, and the actual name of that like for example in andhra we call pesra to upma chutney that is uh, i translate in english people some people doesn't know north indian people doesn't know what is pesra to it's actually moong dal dosa it's made out of moong dal green moong dal dosa green so i specify that also in my menu if it they, they can't understand in a kerala dish it's kuli paniharam that is also a different uh, people can't understand what it is uh, that's a mini idlis kind of a thing so uh, that also i explain so that's how i plan accordingly and i post them so that they can understand what it is and i post even the picture what it is going to how it is going to be how it will look oh that's one yes. that's one yes so i post the pic on my uh, this status about that what is the tomorrow's menu is so you focus mainly on all the south indian different yes. uh, state in the south those kind yes. of cuisine you still focus on yes and people i think uh, not everybody uh, is, finds it easy to make these recipes on an ongoing basis so if there is someone who can, like you who can supply i think they find it uh, easier to order and get it from you yeah that's interesting and uh, when you were doing uh, or when you started uh, you decided that okay breakfast is something i want to supply so what kind of number did you start with initially and how have you moved from that smaller number to today if i may ask you uh, what is the number that you are catering to on a on an average on a regular basis actually i had a client uh, my home decor client in my neighborhood um, so when i started the uh, this I, when i planned out everything and i was ready set of it then i shared that uh, my whatever the food thing is going to matlab introducing myself to the people i shared my link to her just to tell to her, i told her to post it in her society so that everybody will come to know so if initially it was only 3 4 people in my group now at present i have 71 people in my group wow That's yeah good. and on average so word of mouth a word of mouth people loved my food first five five people then six people then they liked it then they pass on to their friends around their society and to their cousin uh, to the other society also uh, at present i am only covering up into my sector mostly people are coming from the other sectors also in nerul sanpada washi sometimes they call and they order and they book their own swiggy i i usually deliver my actually you um, my father and my mother only delivers the food i cook everything and me and my mom will pack all the parcels and my dad and my mom if it is very far away then i go for the delivering the parcels 
I was going place. to ask you about the process. Once yes. you finish cooking, how do you manage that? But you mentioned that you, you and your mom. Yes, we both your... into packing the this thing, everything. We take a time. So by eight, we finish. By at most by eight a.m., the uh, all the breakfast will be done. But eight to eight thirty or eight fifteen to eight twenty, the packing will be done. From there, we go. Because my papa, even... my father goes by walk, so oh. it takes for him for a time for him to reach the places. and he loves to do that i say no it's okay don't want but he says no no anyway he goes for a walk so he gives he give he delivers all the parcels to the client near the gate few for few people uh, we deliver you home door to door because they are senior citizens mostly my clients are all senior citizen people and i love them every day they call me and they say it is so nice so i feel glad you need to get blessings from them yes 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 yeah. so for them i deliver door to door people who can't come down some are having knee surgeries done after the covid they have become very weak they are not able to come down so for them i definitely give that priority to give the door to door delivery to them that's a wonderful service and you said your father is 84 years old and he goes for a walk regularly and he insists that he wants to deliver to some of the uh, homes Mm-hmm. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. So we had Bridget had raised her hand. Bridget, you had a question. So I'm multitasking. I just can't sit in front of the computer. I always have to be doing something. But I wanted to ask you, uh, how do you package your foods for delivery, and what are your top three favorite dishes? okay the packing is like uh, according to the uh, menu if it is uh, idli vada then i pack it in the foil uh, boxes and the sambar and the chutney will be packed in the plastic boxes uh, if it is dosa it's uh, then it is been packed with the butter paper and foil paper to be covered and then and top 3 dishes is idli vada sambar is the first top most everybody likes it then they like uh, kerala style dish it is idiyappam veg too it's the second top dish the everybody loves that and then the third one is karnataka special set dosa and veg kurma this three is the main uh, top three menu mm-hmm. so that, that was an interesting too. question project Well, yeah, and I'd like to know: Would you be willing to share maybe one recipe with the group, or is it all secret? I understand. <laughs> no, no, definitely, I would love to share it. Thank you. It's nothing secret at all. It's there on the YouTube. Everything on the pad how to be done. It's the difference is just the love what I give when I'm cooking with care. So that's the main ingredient I can say. that's make it it unique so if you can share the idi appam recipe maybe towards the end shall sure, sure. we definitely i would like so to so the three dishes that you mentioned are i think also favorites of people who go and patronize the south indian restaurants because they like idli vada sambar and idi appam and also the set dosa is something you know they don't normally make at home so the non non south indian crowd prefer all these three dishes also i love to share idia pom and veg too definitely right sure so uh, moving forward uh, when you decided to do all these things uh, there must have been some uh, requirement of extra funding uh, you would have had to put in some you know resources some raw material and all that so how did you think about uh, going about that what was your plan that way i am blessed to have my husband here <laughs> he is so supportive he has done the fund raise fund fund for my uh, mom's kitchen so is uh, actually he is also into a catering from past 2 uh, 3 years he is into corporate world and uh, uh, my elder son and my husband together they are doing the this thing so they are into concentrating on the corporate and the factories they supply lunch 
uh, lunch, breakfast, lunch, and evening snacks, and the uh, catering for the big functions or parties or weddings. So they do that. So I get lots of inspiration from him also, and tips how how I have to go on. Fundraising is from totally from him. He is very supportive from the first, even the my home decor business when I was doing. So that was not any difficult because I started with a small amount of it. Then later on, I carried by myself. So when you say you started with a small amount, you started building over the same amount. Yes. Okay. Because this is something I would uh, like to hear a little more about it because uh, some of our learners will definitely be interested because see, we are all 50 plus years of age here. Some people want to do something because they have a talent. Mm -hmm. It may not necessarily be for a full-time job or something, but like a side business, they are good at something and they want to do something. So what would you like to say when it comes to fund? much money they should actually try and invest and put into something, whatever business it's cooking business or creating some pickles and squashes or spices and getting started. So what would your, uh, what would you suggest? Uh, I would say uh, starting because it's from home. So many things are there at home. Like uh, when you start a business in outside, then you need to rent a place. You need to buy lots of things. If I say for this food business, uh, you have to rent a place. Then you have to buy the vessels, all the things to be done. Then it will cost you more at home when you're starting it from doing at home. Then many things are already there at home. So only those things like, uh, what should I say? Like provisions or the packing items. Raw material. And raw packing. materials. Yes. Only these has to be concentrated on it. Uh, so initially, because I started with very less people, so it wasn't, I already had a big uh, vessels at home myself. I need, I, I need not buy anything for that, for, for example. Then only the raw material and the packing material I was buying. So when you start, then if you have all these things, uh, idea and it has been planned and exactly, then it will go accordingly. That was so how soon did you start seeing success or you started making profit? How much time did it take you? Three months, uh, months? I can say by God, God blessings, it was very quick. It was really very quick. By so do you, do you within see a month, I had only five people in my group. Within a month, I had 35. Mm -hmm. I, but I have seen people who are left also. But if they left all the group, but other day they call me and they ask Anuradha, do you have this for the tomorrow's breakfast? What is the breakfast for tomorrow? I'm not in the group. I left, but I need food. I want it because my guests are coming. Can you provide me uh, so many plates for these things? So I was ready to do that. Yeah. Wonderful. So uh, Anuradha, have you had, have you experienced something like you have cooked and the food was wasted or it became excess or the food. I mean, when you get orders and you don't have food, you can say, okay, I don't have because it was not an advanced order. But if you have cooked enough quantity and the food was not sold off or taken off, have you experienced some situation like this? Uh, no, I have not experienced that, but people have called me at morning, 8 o'clock also and asked, I, can you can I get two plates of order? I've never said no to anyone till now. I've already, uh, in case if I'm not able to provide, I will definitely say in the group, the orders are closed. But I never said no to any people till now. I've always managed, even you see, usually if I cook food, even we also after 9.30, we all at home will have the breakfast of the same thing what has been cooked. So sometimes it is like that people have called at 8 o'clock and uh, told me I want two plates. Then we gave it from our, this thing, and we have supplied to them also. That we also have done. Never been wasted anything till now. So you're focusing only on breakfast right now and order, uh, lunch and other things are only by order. Yes, only by order. 
because uh, as i'm in home decor because now the pandemic is, is over and we have started the exhibitions everywhere so even i continue started my uh, home decor business started again so i'll be busy going to the exhibitions also so after my uh, morning uh, winding up the kitchen then i go for my exhibitions also in a week at least twice a day i have exhibitions that everywhere mean, that's interesting so you have your because fashion designing was something you were into already because you um, uh, i mean studied that subject and you had some passion and interest in that and because of pandemic you moved away that was also another uh, of your hobby or passion that you continued with the help of your mother that's nice to know and you have an opportunity to go back and try and balance both of your um, passions and uh, whatever you're doing so uh, when we what is the fear has have you uh, any time experience that what if i am not able to uh, fulfill my order what if tomorrow's order is not delivered any any fear of that kind you had yeah i have fear of keeping my clients hungry is my great, greatest fear i don't want to keep them hungry i wanted to deliver the thing on time so time is the thing which uh, is the fear for me because if i'm not able to Uh, it happened twice or thrice that i was not able to deliver the parcels on time it happened two three times because as i said earlier that all are mostly all are senior citizens who have to take the medicine they are diabetic they uh, they have a particular time to have their breakfast in the morning because it's the first day of the meal so they need to take it on time so that's where that my fear is there that i have to deliver them on time that is my greatest fear right. till now touch wood till now i have done it good good i asked you this question because during pandemic time and even we uh, i and my husband we had to order uh, a home cooked lunch for about 15 days and one fine day after five or six days we were waiting till 1:30 our lunch box did not come and when i called up the delivery boy he says i didn't have your number i forgot to call i mean i couldn't call you but the lady who cooks had to suddenly she had an emergency and she had to leave go out station and then last minute we had to you know uh, order food from elsewhere mm-hmm. so that was the reason i asked so do you have a backup plan because food business is something different unlike any other business that you know if you are into a uh, home decor or you are into um creating some artifacts and things like that that is different than uh, taking orders on daily basis so do you have a backup plan that's what planning is very important one day earlier planning whatever it is if if sudden things something i touch it didn't come up till now if sudden things comes up then my mom is there for me if i am moving out of that place also if i'm not able to do my mom take care and we plan it accordingly we both do together so we know each other that if i am not there she can able to complete it or when she is not there i can able to complete it uh, that is my backup plan if i am not there my mom is there if my mom is not there i am there so that is the backup plan i have at present so we know together the planning is very important that's the main thing for one day earlier if so and so thing happens we can do it like this way that is what how we both plan so anuradha if i ask you to describe your one day's routine how would you like to uh, after this i'll take bharti's question bharti has raised her hand but if you can just share uh, what does your day look like my day i get up at 5:30 in the morning uh then myself he asked my husband also is in catering he leaves by 6 o'clock in the morning because he needs to be there in the kitchen the main kitchen so we both will have all all three my mom my husband and me we have a coffee in the morning at 5:45 that's the exact time if if we miss that time then we will not have time to <laughs> have the coffee also because but at 6 i start doing my preparing my food work uh, i don't have any helpers i cut my vegetables everything my mom does all the batters ready 
and fresh batter is being done every day in the morning nothing is been stored before because as uh, vada all has to be done in the morning only only the idli or dosa batters has to be done one day earlier because it has to ferment the full yeah. night yeah. yes so only that thing will be done one day earlier otherwise everything is been freshly prepared in the morning so the preparation starts at 6 and it continues up till 9:30 till we deliver the products to uh, parcels to each and every client then after 9:30 if i am if i have an exhibition and by 10:30 i have to leave home packing my all my products and just uh, putting it into my car and i drive back to drive to my venue wherever it is if it is in panvel or in nerul washi till now i have only been to navin mumbai in covered up the navin mumbai for my home decor product i have not been to the mumbai side at all so all the exhibitions done then the whole day it's in the exhibition hall till 9 9:30 till in the evening then come back and again cooking dinner for myself mom and dad and my children do you have the energy all the energy still left to uh... i had to cook <laughs> i have to cook so we cook that but it's become so easy for me that the cooking has never been any tiring or something like that for me it's always uh, because you it's enjoy fun. you enjoy yeah, something yes it yes is. it's everything is when i'm driving back from my uh, uh, exhibition i always plan in my mind as soon as i enter wash myself and then get into the kitchen what is to be done fast it's on the first on the um, stove then the which cooks very slowly it comes the later so i say plan i do that excellent planning the planning is very very important very important that's what if i to... miss one plan i uh, according to what i have planned if i miss one part of it then it is the cascading not, effect uh, it is, is on not everything. in my <laughs> i get tensed <laughs> so it's See, totally according to the planning that. yes so we'll we'll hear bharti bharti has raised her hand and let's listen to what she has to say and then we go to girija Yes, Bhatt. You can unmute yourself and ask. Yes, uh, Anuradha. <laughs> Actually, I I found her means she told that pressure to and all. Even uh, I I I am in Mumbai with my Telugu friends. I know so many similarities to her. Best part best part I heard. You are inspiration, Anuradha. and uh, best so part of her she told cooking is not a bored thing and it is quick even me who wherever i go even after long journey i i don't think about going to uh, for a restaurant or packing just go to kitchen and cook if you have passion i think even i am having same passion if you have so low cooking and all parthi ji it's really inspires me also when you're saying that to me yeah even me that is cooking is like not a hard work we cook for our loved ones so it is the work yes. mm, i think i love cooking so so i am so, so you are a very good inspiration for all of us who are in thank this. you thank you so thank much thank you thank you for sharing that girija has uh, to say something girija you Hello, have to unmute Ji. yourself ha huh, i just wanted to know what is i mean how do you pack your gravy i could not uh, hear that part of it clearly the gravy, gravy i packed with the plastic boxes i have the box those round uh, types na no? containers yes yes containers yes containers small container and the bigger it's with comes with the measures ah okay okay thank you great so uh, yeah it's interesting to know yeah Brid- bridget your question and by dehi after bridget then uh, i'd like to know how do you carve out time for yourself for family time just to do you ever, you're super woman do you ever take time off <laughs> i mean how do you carve out your personal time actually yeah i do go out with my friends sometimes in a, once in a month i can say uh otherwise i'm at home planning myself <laughs> always planning to do what i have to do the next what i have to give them i search for the new recipes but people love the one what every day matlab what to say they like only the same menu i they don't want to 
any change in the menus if i keep anything north indian dish they prefer they say anuradha it's better south indian dish menu you can keep it so they don't want any change they wanted the same thing what i cook every day for them for whatever the plan i do so uh myself i do take times for myself sometimes because my children or my elder i have two sons so elder one is already in his business so he leaves with his father in the morning comes back only in the night both of them my younger son is in doing his first year engineering so he is in chennai he is in other state so you find your is the me time also you find time to get some me time and you try to go once in a month at once in a month friends. i do definitely go out otherwise also even in exhibitions as i said i'm doing my home decor no in exhibition i have many home entrepreneurs who does just like me i am doing home decor products they have some ladies they do jewelries dress materials chudida they all are there we are all together as a family so i meet them every week it's just like me going out it's just like outing only for me meeting them it's like a social social uh, connecting i learn them. from them also what they are doing and they learn from me that's how we just Great. i take my time for that so that we have a lot of such people on this platform who are into different kind of uh, you know uh, uh, arts and business side business so maybe he has to say something yes by the Yes. Um, Namaste, ma'am. Best wishes to you. Thank you, Vedi Ji. Anuradha. Actually, uh, I wanted to know three meals you are uh, doing, right? Breakfast, yes. lunch, and dinner. You said. Okay. Breakfast is every day. Yeah. Breakfast only. Lunch is dinner is by order. If I get an order only, I do it. Okay. Breakfast every day. This day. Every day morning. Every day. Only by order, lunch and dinner, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now I I wanted to know how do you manage that cleaning part of the vessels and all? You know, you need one maid. Okay. <laughs> definitely. Definitely, I need a maid. <laughs> Without maid, I cannot. No, no, no. It's not. Manage. It's not the point of that. See, one maid is 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 it sufficient? One maid for you in case in case if she takes off. Ha. Huh. There gets you get a point there. then we yeah. both me and my mom otherwise also without saying my mom does the cleaning everything she okay. has a habit of doing by herself from first when she is staying alone also as soon yeah. as she finishes her cooking she immediately washes so that's how she even i say till now also when she is cleaning i said let it be mama the maid will be coming but still her habit is that that once she does the anything she will wash the vessels and keep it so when made i have two maids at a time so that's what if one doesn't come the other one is there for me to help it always there so that is also i managed it so i keep two maids at my place so one if couldn't come or if she is sick or she couldn't be able to um, come home then that next lady is there one day and they uh-huh. always tell me one day earlier only i am very specific about it that if you are taking a leave let me know before only at least by night you let me know so i'll be prepared for the morning so Yes. That way also. Because if the uh, order becomes a little large, yes. Question mark on that day if we come across any uh, issues, right? So that's why it yes. is not. Yeah. Thank you. Packing, Thank packing you. becomes little stress. When uh, that's for your mom. mom. So they are here. Uh, why they? So please, uh, you please bless my mom and father. He, they are here. I, I want them to be uh, coming on the spotlight because they said yes, after yes, seven yes, thirty yes. they will be he here. Like they, they, I want you to talk. I think they are Kannada. They are Telugu speaking. No, you. Uh, yeah, they cannot. <laughs> that's right. So this is yeah. my mom. Namaste, my namaste. Welcome and lovely to hear. Ah, ah, people, get na kuch kar rahe hain. So nice to hear that. at this age you are inspiring your daughter and because of your inspiration she says because of my mother and my father i am into this business so really salute to you and a lot of our learners are wanting to salute you for whatever you are doing in the, at this age thank you ma thank you this is a platform for older adults all 50 plus years of age a lot of people are retired and some of them are like At your age and older to your age, so it's a great uh, inspiration to 
know that you continue to do what you're doing and that is keeping you healthy and happy. Lovely smile you have, Anuradha's mom. Lovely <laughs> smile she's giving. I carried it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, sir, I salute to you at this age also. You, she told me that you want to walk, you also walk the dog. And uh, you, you, yeah, yeah, he thing. loves, he loves to take the dog out. So, do you want to say something? Uh, how uh, is it helping you? It's from the beginning, it's my habit, madam. I'm a very good cook, also. Okay, so it is yes. all in the family the husband, the uh, son, the yes. father, mother, everybody. It's all mm. in the family. Wonderful. Nowadays, I'm not doing both, are being one, <laughs> just I'm helping. You're supervising and you're giving the quality check, I think. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Great. That's nice to know. And uh, Anuradha's mom, uh, Mama, if I can ask you, what is your favorite? What do you like to cook? What is your favorite dish that you are uh, cooking? Cook? Yeah. Which dish you are happy making for people? The tiffin or... Uh, tiffin, tiffin. Tiffin. Ravaidli. Tiffin. Mm. Rava idli. Rava idli, yes. Wonderful. <laughs> he likes what I <laughs> Great. Lovely to have you here on the platform and thank you for coming on the video. So, uh, anybody has any question for them, the seniors? You can ask them if you want to. But there are, there are messages and kudos to uh, your mom and dad. We salute them. I uh, I want to speak in Telugu with uh, Anuradha's mom. Namaskaram and day. Chala Chala Santosh Mindi, Miru Mirkutur Nikalsi. Ye Burmidi? Chennai. Chennai. Wow, Anuradha. We, the, I love me. Amma Nana Chusi Chala Santosh Mindi. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bhati Ji. I told I am very happy. Under age, yes. Yeah. Hello. Yes, there's someone else also who wants to say something. Nirmala. Nirmala. Hi. Yes. Hi, Anuradha. Uh, Hello, I, I can't be late, but I'm uh, super, uh, you know, uh, amazed at the way you are managing your time and discipline in your life. And such things come from the upbringing of your parents. So a big thanks to your parents, uh, you know, when you're when uh, we see uh, that everything is uh, being followed with the time, uh, you know, we imbibe the same uh, in us. Another question which uh, I would like to ask you: You said you have two sons. So, so uh, have you? Uh, one, one minute, to... um, may I request them to go and sit since they are both standing? Yeah, Thank yeah, you yeah. so much. Thank you so much. Okay, madam. Thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Yeah, Nirmala, go ahead. Sorry Namaskar, for the introduction. Yeah, so have you encouraged uh, your your sons to cook and uh, um, do they sons. help you out? Or if, if you are, uh, you know, if you need some their help, uh, do you think that they... My anger on this and to he loves cooking. He likes to try new dishes by seeing YouTube. Not the elder one. Elder one, he is totally into a business-minded financial department. He he is the one. He and my husband does the catering wala, but he is totally into finance departments. So he he loves eating. Then to look it into it, how it is being done. But the younger one, he loves cooking. So now he is staying in anyway in PG. So in Chennai. So he. He's planning to move out next year. For first year, they have to stay in hostel. So next year, he's moving out. So he's already planned. I want this vessel. I want small cooker. I want this thing. I'm going to do this dish. So now only he started planning about it. So Enga one does. He's got an interest. Actually, not only my parents, even my in-laws. I mostly learn many things about my cooking thing when i got married i was not so good at cooking when i entered my in laws place in in laws place everybody does cooking so well so i became very conscious uh, to learn more from them so i can say not only my parents even my in laws inspired me a lot for my passionate about cooking i got inspired from my father in law he is very good at he they are from hyderabad so they are 
is very good at for that hyderabadi style of mogalai style or food i learned from him also so i can say Excellent. them thank you very much nirmala for your question and uh, thank you nirmala uh, anuradha and all our learners are enjoying your uh, session your talk and bridget Thank says you. that moong uh, moong beans soup she has been making several times and it's very healthy and uh, <clears throat> sri raj sri raj is saying she feels like going to for a south indian dinner tonight <laughs> listening to all those wonderful recipes <clears throat> uh, what are your popular dishes you already talked about it and uh, how do you package of course you talk and um, yeah great uh, great sharing and lot of comments that have been coming feel like going to a south indian restaurant for dinner tonight you are very humble and must have love in your dishes and uh, do you spend your entire day in the kitchen i think you already answered that your planning is very very good and that's why you're doing you're managing to do what you have been doing and that's wonderful and uh, when it comes to your family time or the day off your husband runs a kitchen also your son helps her do you have a saturday sunday off or a sunday off or something like that or you are actually weekends are the very hectic so in the weekends i go to the main kitchen for my husband i help them in if if anything orders come from south uh, south indian cuisine so i go there and cook for them cook for the order so sunday also is busy quite a busy time okay we take holidays in a 3 months one time we give uh, we go out for two days just just near by lonawala lonawala or uh, ali bag only me and my husband just take two day off and come back that is required yeah you yes, need yes, to take yes. Yes, so yes. Uh, shiraj has a wonderful question what is it that you do not like to do i don't like to do sitting idle <laughs> my mind keeps working <laughs> they say that, that if you're nice. sitting idle your mind just thinks something which it doesn't know doesn't need at that time or it doesn't negative vibes comes i'm more of a positive person i make myself also being a positive thinking also that's interesting that's great yes so, so thank you very much and uh, it's been interesting talking to you and i'm sure all our learners i mean looking at all the things that have come in the chat they have found your story very very inspiring thank you and, so uh, much to everybody thank you shubhangi ji and binda ji thank you because uh, you could share and i we were very very interested to meet your parents also and wanted to set an example or share this success story of yours it's never too late if you have the skill you can get started even if it's from the small uh, size business or the kind you want to do just start and cater to five people six people and today you're doing something of course nothing is possible without the family support yeah, yeah. like nita also has mentioned here and uh, family support is very very important yes thank you once again is there any question uh, anybody has how much do you charge for idli vada sambar chutney is a question now that must be her secret her business secret so i would uh, let it pass the question but uh, i and someone asked uh, where do you live so she is those of you who are familiar with mumbai and navi mumbai she is in navi mumbai and one day i shall uh, whenever i am in that area i might decide to place a, an advance order and taste her special dishes and of course she said she has a set menu so i will have to do with that but uh, it's lovely to uh, taste the south indian dishes thank you so much anuradha once again mm-hmm. for being on this platform thank hello anuradha can i ask a question yes yeah. i was going to say there is yeah, uh, yeah. who is that yeah. so just wanted to know uh, have you ever thought of uh, uh, you know uh, get, uh, making the business in such a way like automatic where your involvement is the least uh, because uh, uh, and someone takes over or are you training someone for that no i haven't thought about it at all 
yeah because uh, as we age uh, you know we we our dependence on someone else uh, becomes more so like yeah of course uh, you you are young still but i'm just you know wondering if uh, Yeah, Nirmala. I think that was a very interesting and good question because uh, we—that's why I asked her this question. What is her backup plan? Anything can happen, and she is—you uh, know—she and her mother are supporting each other. She also made a mention, if you um, recall, that she said she has not any help help her in the cooking. It's everything—the chopping, cutting, and all that—they only do. So that's why the, that's the uniqueness. that is why they stand out as mom's kitchen because they are doing everything themselves i think that's what i gather from what she shared and uh, maybe she they don't intend to really go spread their wings wide wider rather because uh, her husband is also into the kitchen business they are doing uh, a corporate side and these people are trying to cater the home kind of uh, the requirement senior citizens is her target audience that's what she said yes anuradha which part of Mum- new mumbai uh, i stay in cbd belapur cbd belapur belapur okay yes. i stay stay in you went into mute you went washi out. washi i stay in washi oh, okay washi okay yes yes ah but uh, the one one thing i wanted to say as you said now my son is one son is foodie and one son is financially this thing i will say heads off to your son not to anyone else because jab tak bacche ko taste nahi milega naya naya khane ka tab tak catering ka business nahi chalega thank you <laughs> thank you very well said i think bacche ke liye she must be trying new recipes and that's how her interest has also generated So thank you. Yes, Bridget, we will take uh, Bree's question as uh, one of the yeah. last ones. Yeah. How did you decide to set your prices to make a profit, but to make it competitive? Yes, I my price also is very less, and I don't charge for the delivery. That also is uh, people have asked many times that if you want, you can charge for the delivery because. but i have not appointed any person specifically for uh, delivering the uh, parcel so uh, i cannot charge anyone because if i am having a person where i have to pay him then i i can charge for the delivery so but only my own pa- papa and father and mother are going for the delivery so why i need to charge i don't charge for the delivery and the price is accordingly been priced if it is something more than that uh, for the lunches and for the dinner it is a different rate because you have uh, six varieties of dishes for a one lunch so the accordingly the prices has been done so that's it thank you so the last question from me anuradha before we wind up is yeah. um, what would be your advice or uh, suggestion if somebody wants to go into catering business or cooking business profit wise is it a feasible business is, it, is there a good profit margin in food business yes it's a 100% profit margin food business but you have to plan accordingly planning is very important and you need to be passion about what you're doing whatever is the business you need to be passion towards it and you should um i do planning my main part is planning that's yes that's a wonderful that's that the main thing whatever it is you are just going out for a visit of person or a visit a mall or anything if you go according to the plan you will be happy towards the shopping and you get back home what you have think and you shop and you came back with the things what you bought everything covers and leave it through back planning 